Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Going to do a screen protector installation on the Samsung Galaxy S8. Now, I picked up these screen protectors from a company called Lightning Night through Amazon for five smacks. You get three of them. Uh, you have an option to pick up a four pack for eight bucks. Let me show you over here on Amazon. Um, bring that down a little bit. So you can see the three pack, five bucks. Waited a few days. Uh, because I ordered it actually on Thursday and it just got to me today on Sunday. So not too bad. I had a makeshift screen protector on the S8. I had an old screen protector laying around. I had to cut it just to fit the display as best as possible so I could take her out and about as I review this device. Stay tuned for my final review. In about a week or so, I'll give you all my pros and cons on the Samsung Galaxy S8. But anyway, I did have something on there to protect this display, but it wasn't what belonged there. So now, from Lightning Night through Amazon, for five smacks, I got three screen protectors. Lightning Night screen protectors. So I'm going to leave the case on. That way, it will actually hopefully help me lay the screen protector on here a little more evenly throughout the, uh, the display of the device, especially with these curved edges. Now, they're not as dominant as the uh, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So I'm hoping that I won't have any issues with these screen protectors on this device. I will let everybody know down the road if there's any issues, because anytime you have a curved display, <sighs> finding screen protectors in cases that work together are just, it's a hit and miss. And that's one thing I want to throw that, you know, throw that out to everybody out there as you watch this video and this installation. It may not work with, these screen protectors may not work with the case you have. But I would say try it, okay? You can order Lightning Night cases that may be a little more case friendly with these screen protectors. That's usually how they th these situations work. But I know a lot of you like to order cases from other OEMs. So, um, but I just, I mean, you know, disclaimer. Whether it's the case or the screen protector, they may not work together. So I'm going to let everybody know down the road how these screen protectors work with this Alexa case shout out to j will for uh giving me this case beautiful beautiful case it does get smudges but you know what i need protection on this beautiful device so i could care less if it gets smudges all over that back but it's a beautiful see-through back it's beautiful beautiful nice case to protect my s8 so let's put these on or put one on and we'll see how it looks and again if this is not something you want to buy right away and you want to you want some feedback in about a few days from now, I can let you know if there's any, you know, issues with the screen protector being lifted by the case itself. This one hugs this device really nice and tight. So if there's going to be issues, it'll happen right away. If not, then cool. That's what that's what we want to hear, especially when you have screen protectors and cases from two different OEMs working together. That's a thumbs up. So, all right. So let's do this and get it done with. Alright everyone, Lightning Night Screen Protector went on here, wow, very nicely, very nicely. I'm very particular in how I put on my screen protectors. I really take my time and I wipe a lot, but I just want to make sure I get no dust or hairs or anything underneath the screen protector as I'm installing it on top of 
any display on any of my devices, but you can see down at the bottom there of the corners, and at the bottom of the device, there's just a tad bit of play where the case comes up and it surrounds the device around the display. And so it does not look like, you can see just a tad bit there, all the way across. Even at the top corner there. So it does not look like there's gonna be an issue with this case lifting the screen protector on the corners or the sides or top or bottom of the S8. So I like having a little bit of play there so I know that this screen protector is gonna stay on my device, in which this case is the Samsung Galaxy S8. Wow, that went on there really nice. I did take a, a few seconds to get all the air bubbles out and then I started recording again. So you didn't need to see me do all that. That would have been uh, another five minutes you would have had to wait. So yeah, it looks like it, it mean, wow. So um, I will leave the links for the Alexa case uh, and the Lightning Knight screen protectors down below in the description area. Um, but uh, yeah, man, I'll get back to all of you and let you know how these two items are working together, being that they're from two different companies. And that's where we usually get issues. They typically don't work together. So um, not all, but some. Okay, so, so far, everything looking really good. The Samsung Galaxy, again, stay tuned. A few days from now, week, whatever, of my uh, final um, review on the Samsung Galaxy S8, my pros and cons. Just going to give you my thoughts. I, I never really give you a uh, techie type of final review, but I'm just going to go over some areas that I really dig, some areas that I don't, and how I see it up against a couple of my other devices as we get ready to bring in the HTC U11. That's going to be a nice comparison as well. All right, there you go. Lightning Knight, script protector, description down below, and the Alexa case as well. All right, everybody. Till my next video, this is my Project 13. Peace, I'm out.